Welcome to LT Vegan Living Podcast. I'm your host. My name is Gary. Welcome to episode number four. How I started becoming vegan. At that time, I still worked at Amazon.com working 10-12 hour shifts. I was still juicing about two to three times a day. Lunch, dinner, and some snacks. And I was still looking for something more. I didn't know what it was, but I wasn't finding it. So I purchased a Roku TV. It's a streaming device because you could get free cooking channels on the, on the Roku. And at that time, I had like 400 channels to choose from. It was really easy for me to find the different types of cooking that I was looking for. Some were vegan, vegetarian, Indian cooking, all different types of life. And since I was trying to figure out where I belong, I really believe that that was the, the solution. There, I was incredibly lucky and I found a woman called Jill McKeever. And what she did is she showed people how to cook vegan with no oil. A totally new concept for me. And there I was able to start understanding how she put the different ingredients together using the Instapot or stovetop. How she served her family this rich, delicious food that I could apply it to my needs. And so I bought her first book. I took every single recipe in that book. I purchased an Instapot pressure cooker. It took me a little well, bit of time to understand how an electric pressure cooker worked, but I really saved an enormous amount of time. And I'll give you an example. When you're cooking beans, dry beans, you really should try to soak them for four hours in the refrigerator. But because I was working full time at the time and I had graveyard shift, I would try to squeeze those in uh, the, the beans in a four cup measuring cup or a six cup measuring cup, put them in the refrigerator and go to work. And most times after six to eight hours, the beans were ready. But sometimes I would forget to do that. And with the pressure cooker, by just adding 10 more minutes to the cooking time, that solved my problem and I was able to cook my meals. Now, I ate a lot of beans in the beginning and potatoes and many different types of foods that I wasn't used to, but it gave me an understanding on how the diet worked. I decided after I cooked an entire book, I would start a YouTube channel because I knew that if I started a YouTube channel and if I cooked every single week, I would stay vegan. I would be able to show my audience, my friends, my family what worked for me and how I stayed vegan. And it worked. Now, the problem was is I never had cooked in a day in my life. I could cook an egg, I could cook, I could uh, burn toast on a regular basis. I might even be able to cook a pancake. But that is not the same as reading ingredient panels, reading recipes, following it through. That I had to force myself to learn. When I told my wife I was going to become vegan, she said, well, have a good time, Gary, thinking that it was going to be a fad. But I never let go of it. And I learned to basically become a cook for myself. My wife continued staying carnivore omnivore, and I stayed vegan. And for a long, long time, she, she wouldn't t touch any of my food. And eventually, through time, she did enjoy some of the things I cook. But she still, to this very day, she's not interested in eating vegan food in 2024. I decided that in August of 2017, I became full board vegan, took apart my entire pantry, and created a vegan pantry. Half of it was going to be my wife's food, carnivore omnivore food and the other half was going to be foods that I could eat which I considered to be vegan food. At that time in my life I didn't even think that there was anything in like plant-based or anything like that. I was concentrating only on vegan foods. My weight was pretty close to 320 pounds. Uh, if I get stressed I eat. The thing is that now I know what to eat to lose weight. I know what to eat to stay healthy. It's just a matter of doing it. I stop eating all dairy, which is basically milk and cheese, all eggs, anything with a heartbeat, and honey. Almost all oils, 
I just I kept some for breads and, and some cooking. All sugars, all sweeteners, I switched my sugar from white sugar to organic cane sugar. I ate, I stopped eating all sugar cereal. You know, I used up what I had, but I never bought another box after that. All white breads, white rice, and, and learned to cook the different grains, but I had really didn't know how to cook, but learned to make my mistakes with them. I was using Equal at the time, because I, li I like a sweet drink, and I stopped using chemical sweeteners, white salt. I went from white salt to Himalayan sea salt. I started to learn how to read ingredient panels and avoid very dangerous chemicals and in, in some of the processed foods I was purchasing. I learned that just because it's vegan processed food doesn't mean it's any healthier for you, but that took me years to figure that out. So when I first started my YouTube channel, I baked and cooked very basic foods. And for me, it was a new adventure because I had never cooked before. And whenever I created maybe a bread that flopped or whatever, I would talk to my wife about it and she would give me ideas on what I might have done wrong. And the next time around, I would solve that. Now I'm pretty darn good at making any quick breads. I do try some very crazy types of breads like maybe grapefruit and persimmon or some anything that makes it exciting and different. And you can see that on my latest channels. I am always pushing myself and trying to try new foods. My latest real adventure has been the cranberry sauce. For 63 years, I ate cranberry sauce out of a can. And then at the age of 71, December of 2023, I decided I would start cooking my own cranberry sauce. When I realized that it takes a cup of water, a cup of sugar, and three cups of cranberry, fresh cranberry sauce, cooking it on the stovetop for 10 minutes, and the combination of the fruit, the sugar, and the water made such a delicious cranberry sauce and I got to hear the cranberries popping and and the the cranberry sauce was bright and red and beautiful I knew that this simple little thing that I've done had changed me and it's the really the vegan lifestyle that's done that to me it's opened up a way of looking at food that I had never ever thought I would ever have I still eat salads um, not as much as I used to when before I was a vegan I used to eat giant bowls of salad now I usually eat prepackaged salads that I buy at Sam's Club or, or Costco but I don't use the milk products that's in them I just use the salad as it is and I put my own plant-based dressing on it but the thing about that is that I do that out of convenience I know exactly what's the measurement of that salad is and I get full faster I know I know my limits and that makes me feel good so same thing with um, uh, pre-cooked vegetables I buy that at Sam's Club in Costco I usually buy a, uh, a giant four 12 ounce bag of vegetables I know exactly I eat one of those with avocado sauce on top and it's perfect meal for me and I don't have to run to the store and have a hamburger or french fries. I know that that meal will satiate my hunger. I've learned a lot from being a vegan. But I had to learn first how to cook. And that is really what took the longest time. Because I never knew how to cook. I am myself. I am a self-made cook. Now, now at 71, I'd like to say I could tell you that I'm going to go back to school and become a chef. But, you know, to put two, three years into school right now, I'd be 75 by the time I'd come out. It might be useful for another 15 years. Or maybe I'll just continue doing what I'm doing now, sharing my new recipes, the love of cooking, the little bits of popping of the berries, the delicious food that comes out of just carefully caring for your food. Most of my recipes, I have removed at least a quarter cup and or more of sugar. I rarely cook with alcohol. It's not that I don't drink alcohol. I just don't overindulge. Um, I've been a lot happier being vegan. Okay, now let me explain. When I decided to become vegan, I didn't want to wait until one week I'll let go of the eggs and next week I'll let go of the milk. It came to a point where I had used up all the dairy for that week. All the eggs were gone. 
the meat was gone because the lunch meats were finished. It turned out to be really perfect for me and that's when it, it made it easier for me to say, I'm going to be vegan today. I'm not going to be an omnivore carnivore any longer. And I went cold turkey. So I had to, I at first purchased vegan processed foods and I got to see that vegan processed foods are extremely expensive compared to omnivore carnivore foods. You can't find a, for example, a Swanson's vegan meal. I mean, for and you can buy Swanson for like three bucks and get a full meal. You can't do that with vegan food. It's totally different. As soon as that V sticker gets on the box, the, the, the price just jumps. That's why it's so important that when you're a beginner vegan that you cook for yourself. And if you cook for your family before you were vegan, the transition is much easier than what I had to put up with. My conclusion. So that's basically it. For me, everything came in. First, I had the problem with no energy on my job and I had started juicing with Joe Cross. And then from there, that wasn't enough. I needed more energy to do my job and I got myself Instapot. From there, I started buying books and reading books and watching TV like crazy every single night after work. Our, our own food is killing us. As soon as I became vegan, my arthritis started doing better. I started doing better. I started sleeping, all because I ate vegetables. I'd like you to consider thinking about the vegan diet. If nothing else, I started for health. The health of benefits is what brought me into the vegan lifestyle. And throughout the seven years I've been a vegan, I now do it for the animals. I know that I have impact, not only through my YouTube channel, but I'm opening my podcast channel as well. But I'm sure you're going to love it to death. Bye-bye now. Okay, so we'll see you soon on our next episode, coming soon. Come listen to episode five, My Filled Diets. If you have any questions or just want to say hello, come visit me on my YouTube channel. It's called Healthy Vegan Living. The address is located on the show notes. See you soon and thank you for listening.